I'm uh, Patrick David. I'm head of 2D at Rodeo FX Montreal. All right, Patrick. <laughs> you have my face in your monitor. It's true. Just between you and me, I'm going to be 46. So there's 46-year-old Eli. Uh -huh. Got some wrinkles, a little bit of gray. Now we apply the magic wand and... <laughs> wow. <Yeah. laughs> so weird. I, I'm getting a little bit of like early high school flashback. Ah, there you I go. just need to put like the glasses on. What, what did you do to me? Obviously, you know, I was quite scared of not being able to de-age you enough because you look so young. My artists oh, were like, I can't you. do anything. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, uh, but basically we wanted to see all the wrinkles. We yeah. wanted to see all that stuff. Uh, we wanted to see the, you know, some things I was noticing mm -hmm. uh, looking at it that I think, oops, your eye picks up on all oh, the gray hair, you know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> Pick up on that, and obviously afterwards wow. the gray hair is gone. Uh, some things is like the hairline we've kind of adjusted so oh, it's okay. thicker at the hairline. Nice. Um, obviously the skin complexion we're yeah. tightening, sure. tightening up the skin, rounding out the face a little bit. Yeah, like the shape is ch changed very the, slightly. The shape of the the face has changed a little. Yeah, but what do you think? Does that look like you younger? Well, or let we... me see that. Let me see the final result. Um. <laughs> it's close. It's pretty it's close. close. It feels Uncannily like it feels close. like my cousin. It feels oh, like really? it's like someone I know very well, but not quite. So maybe me. your face shape is too changed. But see, this is the kind yeah. of discussion yeah. you'd have with a director. It looks like Eli's cousin. Uh, guys, yeah. it needs to look less like his cousin. He did something with the nostrils. You brought in the nostrils. There's, there's an adjustment here. There's a, yeah. And the hair. Yeah, I see the hairline going down. Yeah. But obviously, you know, what's fun is that an audience can't do this back and forth. This is right. this VFX artist, we do yeah. this all day, back and forth, back and forth. But the trick, obviously, this is a still frame. Yeah. And uh, something moving is yeah. way, way, way more complicated. If we look at something like The Irishman or, mm. or uh, Gemini Man, it's, it's much more complicated when things are moving. It's amazing uh, the work ILM did. Uh, on that volume of shots to take on the challenge of doing that, especially with an actor that, with, well, not just one actor, several actors that everyone knows. So for me, it's really groundbreaking and that's um, be interesting. Maybe this will be a new thing. We'll be able to tell a bunch of stories um, with this new technology. I can walk through uh, basically some of the techniques. Yes, please, that'd be um, great. So this is actually what we call nodes. These are different operators. So each little mm -hmm. box is a different operation that's, that's happening on the image. Okay, um, wow. All of those operations are happening on my poor little face. On wow. your poor little face. Is the chin line moving a little bit? I know it looks, yeah, oh. We can draw um. kind of lines around the face and uh, we can adjust the lines and actually transform your face and everything kind of will follow. So we can make you look really weird. Come on. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, it's yeah, it's good. That's what I was doing all you know half the day yesterday. So oh, you know, you can <laughs> you can adjust things. Oh no. Yeah, you can adjust things uh, in a very so strange way. So you're morphing. Way. You're you're distorting. You're pushing and pulling. Exactly. To change that shape. To bring a shape in. Um, to take away the effects of aging yeah, or exactly. gravity. So this is like the, the very <laughs> high frequency detail in your face, but this is a First good... of all, now I look 80. <laughs> yeah, well, That's amazing. Well, this is just isolating the high yeah. frequency stuff. So basically when we're treating the image, we're losing a lot of detail because mm -hmm. we're, we're blurring and we're doing operations. So I'm actually taking this high frequency detail, I've isolated it and I'm actually adding it back on top of, uh, oh, okay. of the treatment I'm doing. So that the younger image has has more realistic texture. Well, we're not losing as much right. of the... Uh, let me see, I'm having trouble. Wow. So see before and after, like how blurry it was kind of getting, but I'm adding yeah. some of that like wrinkle detail without adding yeah. you know, all the wrinkles back. Just the smallest detail in the pores is being, being added back and that kind of helps. Because if you have stuff that looks soft next to mm -hmm. stuff that's sharp, that's something that kind of is a giveaway as well, that, that the, the image has been over-processed. Mm. Uh, as we age, our eyes get a bit duller, so mm. um, just adding a little more contrast, a little more brightness to the whites of the eyes uh, oh. often helps as well. You mentioned the mouth can be tricky. Did you do anything specific Well, the, the mouth's tricky when it's moving. Right, and okay. I'm, I'm, <laughs> thank God you didn't ask for <laughs> yeah, a, a moving test. <laughs> 